The main takeaway is that I think we're at a point now in the SET literature that SET continues to demonstrate relevance as a very important construct in child and adolescent mental health. We have a plethora of studies that have shown that SET is a distinct set of symptoms that are separate from ADHD, anxiety, and depression that contribute to really many areas of impairments for adolescents of like increases in internalizing difficulties, uh, peer problems, academic problems, and now also sleep. We know that poor sleep is a major public health concern, that a number of adolescents do not obtain the recommended hours of sleep, they have irregular bedtimes, given some of the, the demands and the expectations on early waking in the morning. So I think my take home is that even among kids with or without ADHD, there is clearly appears to be a link or an association between SET and sleep that really, I think, is going to require further intervention, assessment, and then also research.